Hey guys, Magus here. I want to give everybody a shout out. No, I'm just kidding. I already did a Magus parody years ago, so I don't need to do another one. Uh, this is Ron Moore, and yeah, so I was talking to Michael Burnham on Facebook a little bit, and he kind of inspired me to go ahead and do weekly vlogs because he felt like I should do that more. And I kind of thought, yeah, you know, I agree with that. That's a good idea. And I know it was a few days ago, I think, when I did... Was it a week ago now? I don't remember. When I did the uh, Magus uh, video, video response to the U YouTube gaming community dying. Um, and so I had another thing that was on my mind um, that I really want to talk about. Uh, and that's YouTubers that you miss. And what I mean is YouTubers that aren't around anymore that you subscribe to and you watch their content all the time. And all of a sudden they're gone. Whether they announced that they were going to leave or they just disappeared from the face of the earth and have not been heard or seen from since. And I, for all we know, some of these people might be dead. I don't know. But off the top of my head, the people that I miss watching on YouTube, other than Skip Rogers, is Armate21, who got me to really... Uh, he inspired me to do these videos. I never talked to the man, but watching his videos really got me saying man you know these videos are low quality or you know, I mean they're decent quality you know but nothing nothing special no fancy editing and I said I can do that too and so it kind of really motivated me to get started doing videos I liked Armate 21 I liked Spunkies Jedite and Sycophant those are the only YouTubers I can think of off the top of my head check out their channels in the description box um I used to watch uh I don't know if I was really a subscriber to Jedi, but I just stumbled upon his videos because he used to do videos every, pretty much every day. And this guy to this day, still, I checked out his channel recently. He still has like, I think over 7,000 subscribers, about the same as Magus, I think. And he was just a guy that, you know, he really loved to do videos, reviews. I don't know about Let's Play so much. He mainly did videos like Q&As and stuff, and, or just sitting there talking about certain consoles or certain games um and i mean he used to do that stuff he used to talk about wrestling uh and i mean he used to talk about a lot of different stuff and he just disappeared there was one time he was gone for like two years and didn't upload a video saying i break my silence and he had a six minute video where he was talking about why he was gone and stuff basically i guess busy with school or whatever but man, uh, that guy was someone that really did videos every day, pretty much like Magus used to, various rants, uh, and, and Jedi did a bunch of wrestling and video game Q&As, and, and I, I enjoyed some of his stuff. Haunted Castle, I got a lot of criticism, uh, but I thought it was funny, just his commentary, just brutally honest about how he felt about the game, and uh, he had his own version of comedy in there, and and you know it was it was unique, but it got me watching and laughing a little bit. So I thought it was pretty funny. And so Jedi was someone that I really watched back in the day, and he's gone now. I don't think he's done any videos in a few years. Spunkies, this guy I don't know if he's still around or not. Um, he might be under the YouTube name Robo Jewels, if I'm not mistaken. But he he had the YouTube name Spunkies. His name was Julian Van Blankenstein, I think. If I said that name right, I probably butchered it. But this guy right here, he was inspired by Armate 21. And I remember him saying, I think on his channel, if urinating tree, that's another YouTuber. I don't know if he's still around or not. If urinating tree and Armate had a love child, it would be Spunkies. And yeah, that's pretty much true. And Spunkies has some hilarious videos. What got me to subscribe to him was his review of Bad Street Brawler, which is a horrible side-scrolling fighting game. And it was so funny that it made me laugh and just made me subscribe to him on the spot. And he also had another funny review called of a game called Draken. Or as you pronounce it, Draken. And there's one part in the video where he he was reading from um, the, the dialogue in the game and it said something about Ultimate Magus. And he inserted a, a clip of Magus saying, Hey guys, Magus here. With Magus's classic low quality webcam. And, um, you know, that's another thing I want to talk about. You know, videos don't have to be high tech and super quality and CGI special effects to really be entertaining. Magus's videos were not high quality, neither is mine. That's why I have a series called Low Budget Reviews. It's literally low quality, low budget stuff. I use Windows Movie Maker. Uh, Army 21, very entertaining. Jedi, low quality, but entertaining. And, 
you know so don't feel like if you if you, you guys are out there listening to this video and watching video saying man I want to do this stuff on YouTube how can I do it basically Windows Movie Maker um, or you know, there's free ways to do this you don't have to do special high tech quality videos so yeah I just want to encourage you to do that um, if you want to do videos it doesn't have to be Hollywood esque um, and so yeah another YouTuber I want to talk about that hasn't been around in a while Sycophant, this guy, this guy right here, <laughs> he, um, my friend J-Man had sent me some of his videos, he reviewed, um, Dragon's Lair, uh, he reviewed, uh, man, I'm trying to think on top of my head what, what he reviewed, oh yeah, Survival Arts, that horrible arcade fighting game, Tattooed Assassins, which is a blatant ripoff of Mortal Kombat, Man, those those are some of the reviews that I watched, and I mean it was so hilarious. He also reviewed Sailor Moon for SNES. I think the Europe, the French version of Sailor Moon, and those some of those reviews right there were, were hilarious. And these so these guys, they were good, and then they just disappeared. Um, I mean when Magus disappeared a while back, he you know announced it. Like yeah, I'm gonna be gone for a while, guys. You're not gonna see a lot of stuff from me hardly anymore. Um, but now Max is back. I wasn't to say I miss Magus too, but he's back. Yay. Um, so I, I had to wonder, I mean, if anybody knows, they could post a comment, what happened to these people? Um, I, I mean, they're, maybe they had lives, you know, they had to move on, do other stuff, and that's fine, understandable, but, you know, just a curiosity. Hopefully they're not dead. If they are, you know, rest in peace. Thank you for entertaining us. I mean, I, you know, I just wonder what happened to them. And... Uh, let's see who else. There's someone else off the top of my head. Moss and Vic. Now, these guys haven't done videos in years. Moss did a farewell video on the channel, or well, I think yeah, that channel. He also had a Zelda Dungeon channel, which I think is still around. The Zelda Dungeon. He's in charge of. I think he's one of the people still in charge of Zelda Dungeon dot net dot com, whatever it is. You might have heard of Zelda Dungeon. It's pretty big. And well, the guy Moss, him and his friend Vic. They would do reviews, and I remember seeing their Mega Man uh, 2 and 3 review, I think. They had other reviews, too. They reviewed Sky Shark. They reviewed uh, Renegade. Um, and they were pretty funny. They were a funny duo. And uh, Moss said, basically, Vic is going to go to film school. Moss is going to do his own thing pretty much in Zelda Dungeon. The channel might still be up, if I'm not mistaken. I do not know. But they're one of the people that I really, really liked. Um, and it, they were pretty cool. And... There's one that they're one of the YouTubers that's not around anymore. So, yeah, those are some of the YouTubers that I really miss watching. J Man hasn't done videos in years, but see, I still talk to him every once in a while. I've met the guy in person actually. He don't live that far from me. He lives in like you know an hour or two away from me. But, um, yeah. So I don't know if anybody else I used to watch back in the day uh, that I really miss right now. And uh, matter of fact, after doing this video, I may want to go back and watch some of those videos. For old time's sake. So, with that said, I, go ahead. And, I mean, even though they don't do really provide no content anymore, if you want to, check them out in the description box below. I uh, also I'm gonna put um, Magus don't need a shout out, but I'm gonna put it, you know, put his uh, link in the description box below for his YouTube channel. And uh, Michael Burnham, aka Nerd Game, uh, Nerd Genius, Nerd Gamer, Nerd Genius, I think is his uh, YouTube name. Check him out below. Uh, this guy. He his videos look very professional, and yet I have more subscribers than him. So he's going to probably be one of those people one day that's, that's going to surpass me in subscribers, pretty much. But uh, I won't be surprised if Michael Burnham is one of the people that will surpass me in subscribers, and he probably should because he actually puts effort into his videos. Where me, well, I mean, I put effort into my videos, but he like puts probably hours of production and editing in his videos to make it look professional. So go ahead and check out these guys in the description box below. And let me know some YouTubers that you haven't seen in a while that you miss and I guess kind of wish would come back. All right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.